Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I'm going to get right into this video. You are looking at a pound of ground chicken. So today I'm going to be making some chicken croquettes with sauce. I believe I actually didn't have a chance to check, but I believe I did do a turkey croquette video um, in my cooking with the princess playlist. So this will be um, chicken croquette with sauce. Um, interesting note, the recipe that I'm using does call for poultry seasoning, a very tiny amount. And I haven't had poultry seasoning in several years, so I was pleased to find out that if you do not have poultry seasoning, you can substitute um, blends of several different uh, seasonings. You can use parsley and sage. You can use majoram and thyme. Um, you can use uh, thyme and parsley. Um, so there are several different options if you in fact do not have um, poultry seasoning. But anywho, I just wanted to share that early in the video guys because that's what I'll be using. Um, because I don't have any uh, poultry seasoning. Anywho, so here is a pound of ground chicken, as I said. Um, I cut it up to make it a little bit easier to mix with breadcrumbs and such. I have a quarter cup of Italian breadcrumbs added to the ground chicken. And in lieu of onion, um, I added a teaspoon of onion powder. Uh, now this recipe also calls for a can of cream of chicken, which part goes into making the chicken croquettes and part of it goes to make the sauce um, to go over the chicken croquettes. So, so far, as I said, I have the breadcrumbs, some onion powder. I would add celery, but I unfortunately don't have any, um, so I have to skip that. And uh, just the Italian breadcrumbs. I added a third of a cup of the cream of chicken soup and an eighth of a teaspoon of thyme leaves and an eighth of a teaspoon of parsley flakes. So I'm gonna mix this all up really, really well. I'm going to shape six patties out of the mixture and I'm going to put them on a plate and it says to chill them in the fridge for about an hour. I think a half hour will be sufficient. All right, so right now I am frying up three of the chicken croquettes. Now I will admit these are a little bit tricky. After you take them out of the fridge you have to roll them again in breadcrumbs. Um, the easiest way I found to do it since there's not egg mixed with the breadcrumbs holding these uh, chicken croquettes together. Easiest way I found to do this is to take the patty, roll it into a ball, roll it into the breadcrumbs, flatten it out in your hand, flip it once or twice in a bowl of breadcrumbs and then immediately put it in your frying pan. And you'll need about oh, one to two tablespoons of butter. And I would recommend doing three at a time for roughly three to four minutes each side. Um, so this is the first three that I, that I have here. Now in the back, I'm gonna be making the sauce. And that is the remainder of my cream of chicken soup. I just shook in some of my thyme and my parsley. Um, I also added a half a cup of milk and I'm gonna warm that up until it is uh, completely warm through, but not hot. And uh, we'll finish these chicken croquettes up. Well guys, all I can say is this sauce made with the cream of chicken and milk and the seasoning is really amazing over these chicken croquettes. And these chicken croquettes turned out so light and very, very tasty.
So I do consider this a food pantry meal, um, simply because the ground chicken was from a food pantry haul a while ago. Um, now granted, the cream of chicken I did buy, I think at Walmart you can get it in Dollar General. Um, and the mac and cheese of course was from the food pantry as well as my mixed vegetables. So about 80% of it is in fact a food pantry um, uh, meal. Brick crumbs you can get, if you don't really use them a lot, Dollar Tree. You get a good sized container for a dollar and a quarter. Um, you can get them in Dollar General for I think like a dollar, maybe a dollar and a quarter as well. So bread crumbs don't cost a lot. Either way, this is a quick uh, meal once you have the patties refrigerated. Um, it doesn't take long at all to fry them up in butter. Um, just remember the trick though, to roll them into the breadcrumbs and then flatten them in the patty and put them right in the butter to start frying since they don't have egg to hold them together. That's a trick to keeping your chicken croquette together while frying. So hey guys, if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. If you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit that bell for all so you are notified every time I upload a new video. Take care and I will see you all real soon on my next one. Bye.